Yo, what's up? My name is Rich. Welcome back to another video. In this video right here, we're gonna, uh, I had this in the previous video. It's the Wallapuff vinyl. It's pretty dope, man. I, I like this vinyl because it doesn't really look like vinyl whenever you press it onto a shirt. So I had it in another video, but it wasn't like a direct video to it. It was like in the end of a video, but everybody who caught it really enjoyed it. So um, I just want to showcase this to you all. This is just heat transfer vinyl. Um, you can use your Cameo your graph tech, whatever vinyl cutter you got, cut it out. Just press on to a shirt and it puffs up. It looks like the puff screen printing ink. I don't know the real term for it, but hold on. So this is the one that we did in the previous video. It's been washed about eight times, still holds up great. Can't really see the puff on camera, but it's pretty dope, man. It, whenever you touch it, it just, it doesn't even really feel like heat transfer vinyl. It feels very professional. It just doesn't feel like something you can make at home. So um, I got another design and we're gonna actually put this one up on the website for hoodies and for sweatshirts. And for anybody who's been requesting 3XL, I still can't get 3XL in hoodies, but I'm about to get it in sweatshirts. You know, COVID inventory sucks. But um, so the, the bad thing about it right now is like it's 10 inches wide. I had to make the image into about three portions. That way I could get it to the size that I wanted to. And it's going to be kind of hard for me to explain how I'm matching it up. So I'm going to link down a video below on how I layer things um, so that it's perfectly matched up. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this real quick. All right. So the thing about weeding is pretty easy to weed. Um, it comes off pretty easily. But you also got to think um, you got to do large images because it doesn't, this type of vinyl doesn't really work well with like small text and small designs. All right, so here's the front. It's pretty simple. I like simple stuff, man. But this is gonna be in puff, so it's gonna be even more dope. This is the back. Like I said, was, the, the vinyl is only 10 inches, so I had to separate it in three that way. You can still have a large print for the back. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I match it up. It's gonna be kind of difficult to explain. Like I said, I made kind of a previous video on it, but check this out. So you can see where the blade sticks out. It's going through the carrier sheet. All right, there, oh, there we go. All right, as you can see, that's where the ninja would be, where it cut through the carrier sheet. That way I can kind of pretty much have a stencil of where it's going to be at. Uh, anybody else who I've seen layer heat transfer vinyl pretty much just eyes it. This pretty much gives you like a perfect placement of where it should be. So check this out. I don't know if I can press puff vinyl two separate times. So I'm going to have to cut it after I match it up. But now you can see how I'm pretty much doing this. I have a stencil of where this vinyl should lay. So it makes it pretty much perfect. So pretty much if I put this on the shirt first, if this was regular vinyl, I don't have to cut it. So if I laid this on the shirt first and I did the second one, I know exactly where to put it. That's how I layer it. Um, but this one, I think when I, uh, when I sit it down, I'm going to have to cut this part off. We'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and do this first part. Got a hoodie. This will be on the website onlyninjas.com. Yes, I have to shamelessly plug it every single time because that's what's going to keep me on the channel more and more. Not only that, that's what's uh, supplying the content. So pretty dope because on this channel, you can see how we build the brand. And on the website itself, every single dollar you spend is one entry into the giveaway for this month, which is a heat press and a Cameo 4. But, you know, we're going to amp it up every single month. This is the first month we're giving something away. Hopefully, next month we can do a MacBook along with all of that. And then we can step it up to a Graph Tech. Hopefully, one day we can step it up to a Brother GTX Directed Garment Printer. Sky's the limit, man. The thing about these hoodies, um, I usually want to match it with the, the neck portion right here. Because the pockets are always crooked. So, here we go. I think this is going to be pretty dope. Let me grab this camera. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Look, it's already puffing. Man, I wish y'all could see this in person. Y'all will if y'all either purchase the shirt or purchase the vinyl. But I'm telling you, man, this stuff does not look cheap. It's just freaking amazing. <laughs> it's hard to see on camera, but let's see here. You can pretty much see it right here. I love this stuff, man. 
All right, let's do the bat. Man, I wish y'all could see this. There we go. You can kind of see it right there. All right, so let's do the bat. Uh, all right, so this this uh, heat press right here is threadable, so I can uh, slide the hoodie in there. But you don't really want to lay it flat because of the pockets. Because if you lay it flat and you press something, it's uneven right there. But I don't even think, I don't know. We're not going to risk it. But if you don't have a threadable one, you can buy some pillows. Um, basically, it's like a heat transfer pillow. It goes inside of it, so it will raise this back portion up. And you'll be just fine as well. I've heard some people use cardboard. All right, so check this out. This is going to be interesting because I don't know as far as puff if I can do it in more than one pass, meaning I press it, cover it, and press it again. That's not something I really want to try right now. So I'm just going to do something kind of interesting. Oh, actually, I know exactly what to do. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to lay it this way. Now, now that I got the Ninja cut out exactly <laughs> in the shape that's not going to interfere the other ones, I'm going to place it directly on my uh, stencil portion. All right. So what I'm going to do is let me see. So you can see where the stencil is. I'm going to lay that directly where this is supposed to go. I'm not going to do it with one hand. I'm just showing it to you. All All right. So now I got the top and the bottom perfectly lined up um, because I had the G like pretty much a stencil. I had the blade sitting out more. So it cuts into the carrier sheet so you can see exactly where to place it. Of course, there's more than one way to layer uh, heat transfer vinyl. You can do one with registration marks on the outside and all that, but I always find this way to be a little bit quicker. I remember even talking to Kirk and Kevin over at Heat Chancer Warehouse and they're talking like I discovered something new, but I don't know. All right, so if I did this properly, should be good to go. Gonna go ahead and put this right here. I really like this one, man. Three, two, one, let's go. There we go, that's the magic. It looks a little like, I don't know what you would say, like some portions didn't puff up yet. You gotta give it some time. Man, this is dope. <laughs> this is the best heat transfer vinyl. I'm going to take a cover sheet and press it one more time. I just really want to see what happens. So this is a test shirt anyways. So hopefully it doesn't uh, mess up, but here's a wash test. I don't know if I told you guys, but this one's been like washed like seven or eight times. Still holds up just fine. This is the one that I made in the previous video. All right, so it still seems okay. It actually made it, I think, even better because now you could see where it didn't puff up completely, but now it's one complete puff. I think it made it even better. So what we probably could have done, we could have actually probably did it the quicker way instead of how I just showed you and I, layered, I went ahead and layered everything and did it in one press. You could probably just press one and then match up the second one, match up the third one, press in three different presses. Either way, it's pretty quick, but it's a good thing to know that I think we can do that. Man, this is dope, man. How many times I gotta say that? It's pretty dope, man. But it's pretty dope, man. So it's gonna be even more dope. Pretty dope. Here we go. I think this is gonna be pretty dope. Man, this is dope. Man, this is dope, man. Let me show it to y'all. It's by far my favorite. <laughs> All right, so of course I'm gonna throw this on, man. How do we do that? Just like this. So there we have it. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, usually the links to all the stuff that I use is in the comment section as a pinned comment. That way it's relevant to the video and not just in the description where it's just like everything. But if you want everything as well as in the description, once again, check out onlyninjas.com if you wanna win a cameo. Let me get the cameo, cameo.
Here we have it, Cameo and a heat press. Not necessarily this exact heat press, not sure which one yet because inventory on practically everything is just kind of crazy, you know. But anyways, appreciate y'all watching. Comment, like, subscribe. See you next time. Hey, Hustle Ninja, thanks for watching. Remember, if you want to support the channel and have the chance to win a giveaway to help your clothing brand, be sure to check out OnlyNinjas.com. Also, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And stay hustling.